in the eerie shadows of a moonless night. A chilling silence blankens the earth. As you tune in to this spine-tingling audio series, you are transported into a realm where the boundaries between spirits and monsters blur, unleashing untold horrors upon the unexpecting world. The whispers of vengeful spirits intertwine with the gnarling growls of monstrous creatures. Their ghastly alliance awakened a primordial evil that hungers for human souls. With each haunting episode, you will be drawn deeper into the heart of this malevolent darkness. Where despite mortals struggle to survive while the line between friend and foe vanishes. Brace yourself, dear listener, for within these episodes, you will experience firsthand the dread and terror that arises when spirits and monsters join forces in a dance of pure, unadulterated horror. somewhere <laughs> all of you humans are all so alike free to do whatever you please to even if it does cause harm to others In all of reality, you humans are more of cursed spirits than cursed spirits themselves. For example, with your adequately strong friend, that you left behind to fight all those transfigured humans and cursed spirits. I can admit he did quite a good job killing all those things. But when put up against someone like myself, He never stood a chance. What happened? He's dead. I myself had a mediocre snack with him. <laughs> Yes, I did kill your friend. And although they did taste quite tart, I still enjoyed the meal I had. Because, well, my master, he gave me quite a interesting power. You see, my master created me with the anger of every single human upon this planet who was angered by the rest of you. Who made this planet toxic. Putting chemicals inside of the air. Killing all sorts of wildlife. 
demolition to all sorts of trees, plant life, just for your own sake of evolution, per se. You humans are nothing but disgusting creatures. And yet, you say your intelligence is better than any creature upon this planet. The way I see it. You would be nothing without this planet. Just mere specks within the universe. But when it comes to the very ground that your feet are laid upon, it all had to come from somewhere. True evolution of wildlife and plant growth, you would have nothing without it. My master gave me the power to make sure that this planet is regrown into its primal state. As you can see, for an example, this concrete pillar my own technique is to make anything I touch turn back into nature. Overgrowth for simpler terms. And yes, my master thought about other powers as well before making me. For I possess the power of a Venus flytrap. Yes, Venus flytrap. Well, that's simple. A Venus flytrap only knows its ways of survival. It is patient and waits for its prey. It knows its concept of its own living body. Free to do what all Venus flytraps do. Survive at a patient pace. And when the Venus flytrap has its prey just right where they want them, it ensnares their enemy and sucks the life force right out of their bodies. I can give you an example. Jaw trap. Jaw traps. Hayatori Guza can summon Venus fly traps on the floor and their mouths are wide open. When stepped on, the trap shuts on the person standing on it, snaring the person in place like a bear trap. If you don't figure out how to get your legs unsnared from that Venus flytrap's mouth, your legs will be torn off of your body. You see, you humans always think that you have the upper hand on things you think you have control over. When in reality, Mother Nature is always one step ahead.
my name. My master has called me Hai Torikusa. You may call me so. <laughs> Your curse energy output is weak. If you want to try to survive against someone like myself and the others who I have only met for a mere few months, you will have to train a lot harder than that. <laughs> you say that I can't get away with any of this. But the way I see things here, the way that I see everything here, these concrete boxes that you call your homes. The way that you destroy wildlife in itself just for your own pity evolution. That is your downfall. Because nature is the one true power amongst this planet. You will find out soon enough. Although you are quite weak, I can tell you the things that we have planned. You see, within the next coming weeks, we are going to be putting an outright war with the humans. And within this war, there will be much bloodshed. But only for the ones who do not want to follow under the ruling of us cursed spirits and cursed entities in itself. You don't understand. You have no power. You never did. Only the strong can survive. It is simply the facts of the food chain. And you humans are at the bottom of the list. I shall let you go for now. But heed my warning. Tell your friends, family, anything that you have connection to. That we are coming. And we will not stop until this planet is pure once again. Now go. We will be waiting. We will kill everything. Master, I'm coming back right now. The war 
Ciao, Pikin.